You know, not a lot, not really uh, mm -hmm. on that song. Uh, at this point, we, I mean, there's two climate change songs on the album, and the one we're going to do live is called The Fireman's Talking. Bob Seger is a singer, songwriter, and musician from the United States. He played and recorded as Bob Seger in The Last Heard and Bob Seger System as a locally popular Detroit area performer throughout the 1960s, breaking through with his first album, Ramblin' Gamblin' Man, who had his first national hit of the same name in 1968. He had deleted the system from his albums by the early 1970s, and he proceeded to pursue greater success with several other bands. With a collection of Detroit area musicians, he performed the Silver Bullet Band in 1973. In 2001, his recording of Old Time Rock and Roll was selected as one of the songs of the century, and he co-wrote the Eagles' number one smash, Heartache Tonight. Uh, Glenn and I met when I was 19 and he was 16. And uh, uh, my manager uh, saw him. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Robert Clark Seeger, but he's known as Bob. He was born May 6, 1945 in Detroit, Michigan, making him 76 at the time of this production. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. Seeger is an avid sailor. He's also interested in physics and astronomy and has several telescopes at his cabin and home. Thus the lyric, my old friend Sirius, and I wonder, and all the sailing references in that song and others. At one point, Seeger had season tickets to the Detroit Pistons games. Seeger's neighbors include former Pistons Bill Lane Beer and Vinnie Johnson. All three live in an exclusive community of about 750 homes northeast of Detroit. He's also an enthusiastic Red Wings fan. According to Carl Wayne Arrington, writing in USA Weekend in September 1991, Seeger lives in an 8,000 square foot lakefront home with several boats. He's also a vigorous reader. He especially enjoys biographies and takes an active interest in politics. He reads the New York Times daily and watched This Week with David Brinkley regularly. Seeger has read The Road Less Traveled repeatedly. Seeger was married to Renee Andrietti in 1968, and their marriage lasted one day short of a year. Afterwards, he was involved with Jan Dinsdale for a long period of time, from 1972 to 1983. His second marriage to Annette Sinclair lasted almost as long as his first, and was almost as brief as his first. They were married in 1987 and divorced the following year. Juanita Doricott is his third and final wife, they were married in 1993 and are the parents of two children. Guy, a lot of fun, great sense of humor. And um, I think uh, I produced his first single by a group called The Mushrooms. That was one of his groups. Robert Clark Seeger was raised by his parents, Charlotte and Stuart Seeger in Ann Arbor, Michigan. He has one older brother named George. Seeger was exposed to music at a very early age thanks to his father, a medical technician for the Ford Motor Company, who happened to also play several instruments. However, his father left the family when Seeger was just 10 years old and moved to California. The departure of his father had a great impact on the family, plunging them into financial difficulty while he was growing up. Seeger briefly attended Lincoln Park High School, then attended Pioneer High School, at the time named Ann Arbor High School, where he ran track and field. He graduated from high school in 1963. Seeger first began performing music in public in 1961 as a member of a three-piece band called The Decibels. He played guitar, piano, and keyboards, and was also responsible for vocals. His bandmates were Pete Stanger, guitar, and H.B. Hunter, drums, and they were all high school classmates. Following the disbandment of The Decibels, Seeger became the lead singer of a four-piece band called The Town Criers. Through the Town Crier gigs, Seeger met musician Doug Brown, who performed with his backing band, The Omens. He then left the Town Criers to join Doug Brown and The Omens. Although he had previously recorded some material with his early bands, it was Doug Brown and The Omens that Seeger first made his appearance on an officially released recording, the single TGIF, in 1965. It was also while he was with Doug Brown and The Omens that Seeger met Edward Punch Andrews, the man that would become his longtime manager. Seeger left the band to record his song East Side Story on his own, released it with Hideout Records in 1966 under the name Bob Seeger and the Last Heard, 
This track helped him land a recording contract with Cameo Parkway Records. He released four more singles, all with Cameo Parkway, and the single Heavy Music in 1967 performed particularly well, barely missing out on the Hot 100 chart and peaking at 103. He achieved national recognition with the album Live Bullet in 1976, which was recorded live with the Silver Bullet Band in 1975 at Cobo Hall, Detroit, Michigan. With the studio album Night Moves, he had a national breakthrough in 1976. He collaborated heavily with the Muscle Shoals rhythm section on his studio albums, an Alabama-based band that appeared on many of Seeger's best-selling singles and albums. Seeger, a roots rocker with a distinctive raspy, powerful voice, penned and produced songs about love, women, and blue-collar themes, and is widely regarded as one of the most well-known examples of a Heartland rock singer. Night Moves, Turn the Page, Main Street, Still the Same, Hollywood Night, It's Against the Wind, You'll Accompany Me, Shame on the Moon, Roll Me Away, Like a Rock, and Shakedown, the latter of which was written for the 1987 film Beverly Hills Cop 2 and went on to top the Hot 100 chart. Not letting success and fame get to his head, he made a habit of hiring out-of-work Detroit musicians to back him up on stage. In a career that spanned over six decades, Seeger has wrote and recorded a colorful palette of songs that dealt with love, women, blue-collar themes, and was an example of Heartland Rock. He's released over 20 albums, including studio albums, live albums, and compilation albums, and sold more than 75 million records globally. Seeger's classic raspy yet shouting voice earned him a place in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2004 and the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2012. The city of Lincoln Park, Michigan, where Seeger used to attend school when he was younger and also used to perform occasionally during the early days of his career, named November 17th, 2017 to be Bob Seeger Day. For them, you know, and it's like, so yeah, I'm concerned. You know, it's a finite planet and, and there's only so many resources and so much wildlife and so many things that we can save. Other than being invited to perform in big events, he also sells his albums. One of his most sold albums is The Greatest Hits that accounts for over 6 million successful sold copies. Bob Seger is among the most well-paid musicians. In the fiscal year 2019 to 2020, Bob Seger's earnings were over $75 million. Bob Seger's net worth is estimated to be $60 million. His main residence is located in Orchard Lake Village, Michigan, a Detroit suburb, Bob's main house is a 20,000-square-foot lakefront mansion on four-plus acres that he custom-built in 2009. Cars you'll find in his garage include a 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1, a 2011 Porsche Carrera S, A 1954 Ford, and a 1976 BMW 530. A Ferrari. Bristol 401. 